okay, this is number two, three, four take. I don't know. I haven't made a video in a while. Anyway, happy 2016. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to ya. So I just wanted to check in and say, hey, I hope you and your family are well and healthy. I hope that um, you brought the new year in with friends and people that you love and folks that um, care for you and comfort you. Um, my new year, um, I brought in with my family right here at home with my the three men in my life. And um, so we're off to a good start. So in terms of Project Life, I finished up my 2016 albums, I want to say that first week first few days, I guess, um, of the new year. And I'm really pleased with um, how everything turned out for 2016. One of the things I decided to do was to incorporate a December daily format into my 2016 album. And so by the end of the year, I had five, five Project Life volumes or um, albums. Now, you know, I use a six by 12 format. Um, but each of them's pretty doggone chunky. I think I will create a video so I can share with you oh, this straight hair So I can share with you kind of how I finished up the year um, But I love How everything turned out however, my one concern is that it took five albums, right? Basically four for the year and then the December daily was almost a basically a complete album on its own So I'm really considering why am I holding this phone? um <laughs> So I'm really considering trying a new format and I'd like to try the 9x12 format. I think that having a little bit more space will do the trick and I won't need to have inserts. I can just use um, that one week's worth of you know plastic sheets without sticking additional things in between, which I often did with the 6x12. Um, cross tournament, a birthday party, um, a little week, weekend getaway, summer vacation. We had lots of stuff going on and I was constantly sticking in inserts. And so that just made each um, album particularly bulky and full. So I'm going to try that shift. However, my concern is there's really only one manufacturer that makes the 9 by 12 albums, and that's my beloved Studio Calico. I love their kits. I still get them. I've gotten them for years, but I don't like the idea of only being able to purchase my albums from one manufacturer and to get the um, plastic sheets as well because they do everything on a four ring system, which means all the stuff that I have that's on the three ring system won't work. Um, and the little budget person in me is like, I don't want to waste all of these sheets that I have. So I'm thinking that I'll purchase a 12 by 12 album, but I'll simply use a 9 by 12 format and I'll have to trim all of my old 12 by 12 sheets. And then occasionally when I need an insert, I can use my 6 by 12 sheets. Um, that's my thought right now. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. If anybody is using the 9x12 format, what album system do you use? Is it working well for you? Please share with me. I'm like, ah, ah. Um, so yeah. So that's where I am now. I have a layout that I've kind of been thinking about for the first week of January, but because I haven't decided on the album system, I haven't actually scrapbooked it um or anything but i'd love to share with you once i make up my mind and the last little tidbit of news is that when we moved into our home two years ago uh, my husband has his office at the front of the house on the main level and my craft room is in the basement that's fine works um have all my stuff down there it's beautiful we are now kind of remodeling the basement and so that open kind of area that you traditionally have in a basement we really want it to be kind of game friendly we have you know teenagers now um, and i have a bunch of bookshelves down there so we moved the bookshelves out but i need a place to put all my books i simply adore all books all books um so i needed to repurpose my white ikea shelves rather than having them hold a lot of my craft stuff i need them to hold my books so i've done that and i'm kind of moving some other things around shifting some things 
Um, my husband um, had a closet built for me so that I can hide other items that I don't need to have out. So I haven't completely finished my space, which is now going to be my office craft space, or I think I'm just gonna call it Wendy space. Right? So, <laughs> Um, so Wendy's space is almost done, but not all the way. Um, but when it's done, I'm happy to give you um, a quick little tour. Again, it's really me just moving things around that I already have. Um, it's not really a matter of you know a whole redo and purchasing really new items, but just trying to use the space that I have more um, effectively. So that is where I am, people, and. Um, yeah, so I wanted to check in and again, I will, a couple things I know I'm going to be able to do within the next few days. So I'm going to um, make sure that in addition to this video, which you're watching now, that I do a quick video, maybe just me kind of holding my phone, doing a quick flip through of the final albums of my 26, of 2016. So you get a sense of kind of how I concluded the year and I um sooner rather than later once my space is complete once windy space is complete i will share with you how i have reworked my space so for those of you i know some people kind of have a dedicated craft space um but i really do need my space now to serve two functions um and in a very intentional way so when that's done i'll share that um, with those of you who want to see. So until I post another video, thanks so much for checking in. Again, I am truly sitting in my heart um, to all of you. Um, and hugs, really sincere hugs. Bye.